Hello everybody, Crips here, and as usual, thanks for joining me. So, uh, speed bubbles, speech bubbles, I should say. Uh, are they easy to do in VS6? And the answer is yes. They are very simple to do in VH6, and I'll show you a little demo clip that I put together. Uh, so, uh, how, how do I do this? Uh, it's done really, really simple and actually done very, very quickly as well. Because if you ask me, uh, can I show them a little tutorial how to do speech bubbles uh, in a quick and easy way? And the answer is yes. So uh, I'm going to grab a little clip. So I've got a little clip here of my, uh, just my daughter riding a little bicycle around and around. So first thing I need to do, obviously, is make a tracking path because I want the speech bubble to follow her. So right click, track motion. And uh, very simple. I'm just gonna, sorry, highlight it. I'm just gonna basically track the top of her head. If I track anywhere else, because she goes around around in circles, the, the tracking is gonna miss. And plus track or record. Um, this is not a tutorial on how to do track motion. So if you don't know how to do that, look at the track motion tutorial. Okay, so there you go. It's following pretty good. It doesn't have to be 100%. And I press OK. So now I've got a track motion path, so I've got basically as she's riding her bicycle round and round, it's created a path. Secondly, what obviously you need is some form of speech bubble. So what I did, uh, I just went to Google, Google the speech bubble, downloaded it, and I got it in my Photoshop here, and all I did was just cut out the one I wanted. I went File, Save for Web, and I saved it in a PNG 24 format. And the reason you need to do that is it creates the alpha channel. So there's no background. All you're gonna get is the picture of the speech bubble. Again, if you don't know how to do that, I have a tutorial called how to insert any object and it'll teach you exactly how to do this as well. But uh, that's how we do it. So now, once I have my little speech bubble, here it is. Now it looks kind of messy here. I really don't care what the background looks because I didn't save the background. I just saved this picture and I'll show you exactly what I mean. I'm going to go back to my project. I'm going to drag that picture into my timeline and then watch what happens. Bingo. Look, that's perfect, right? The only thing I'm going to do here is just place this clip where I want the speech bubble to come in. So let's say uh, I want her to have a thought here. Now it looks in the wrong place and it doesn't look quite right. It doesn't matter. I'm leaving exactly how it is. I'm going to right click onto my speech bubble and I'm going to go match motion. And there it is. This is where I align my speech bubble. I don't want it there. I may want it here. I might rotate it so it's this way. And to me, as she now travels around, this speech bubble will follow her the exact same way. Now, I want this to be constant. I don't want it to flip and rotate back. I'm going to right click on my first keyframe and copy and paste to all right. So all the commands from this will be copied into the last keyframe. I'm going to press OK. And if I press play, I should see a little speech bubble following it quite easily. So here we go. There you go. See, there you go. And it's done relatively simple, right? Now, all I need to do is add in text. So let's uh, go into my text track, double click onto the, my preview window, and then probably type in wee. Click anywhere in the project, it doesn't matter. So here is my text. And again, like the speech bubble, I'm not going to do anything. I'm just going to leave the te text right here. I will now right click onto my text track and match motion this again is where i align the text to my speech bubble so i just have to resize it slightly um, let's see that should do it it doesn't have to be perfect i guess all right, all right again copy and paste to all right and press okay and look, it immediately just jumps right into where I want it. I'm going to drop one E out. Now, when I double click, it'll tell you this, that I'm going to change or overwrite whatever happens in the clip. And yes, I do want that. I, I don't want, uh, once I finish doing it, that it goes back to three E's. All right, so press OK. 
double click in here just to take one E away. And again, I just press anywhere. Let's see. Okay, that's a better fit. I could probably make the Wii bubble bigger. So let's do that. Yeah, that's a tutorial. I should uh, make it at least a little bit better than sloppy work, right? There you go. All right. Again, let's have a look. Wee. Okay. Right, now, this is where the part becomes really, really easy. So I want to obviously add more speech bubbles as she is going round and round in a circle. Do I constantly repeat this over and over again? No, because that would mean a lot of work. Instead, what I'm going to do, I'm going to highlight my clip, Control-C. Instantly, I'm going to get another box, Release. Highlight my text track, Control-C, and just line it up. Now look what happens. Now I've got these two following perfectly. If I want to change the text of the second Wii, I double click. Again, this little logo pops up. If you don't want this message, just click this. Okay. And again, double click in here. And then type in your second text. Uh, anywhere you click is fine. It doesn't matter. And here we go. So let's do this again. Control C pops up another one. Highlight it again. Control C pops up another one. And as you can see, after a while, if I have a lot of text and a lot of dialogue and all that, I can do this uh, fairly, fairly quickly. And it's just Control C, Control V, Control C. It's not even Control V. It's Control C and click where you want it. And, and that's basically how you can make uh, this relatively fast. Okay, so let's go right to the beginning and let's have a look at my project. So here we go. We, the bubble's following nicely, the text is lined up. Fun, yeah. Probably the last word's probably too big. Oh, there you go, they'll fit it in perfect. So there you go. It is really that simple. It's just a matter of just copying and pasting, copying, pasting. So long you have the entire track uh, motion tracked, you can just add and as many as you want, as long as you want, and keep changing the text. If you have a conversation with two people, obviously you've got to track both people at the same time and do exactly this over and over again. So I can probably knock up, say, a minute worth of text in one minute rather than going drag, change, drag, track, drag, change, drag, track. It's just too much of a headache. This is a simple and easy way. And as always, thanks for watching.